guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I've got another farm LP episode for you. It's been absolutely ages since I posted my last episode and I'm really sorry about that, but I've got lots planned today. At the minute, I've just got Ivy, our protagonist grandma, to start making some breakfast with our free range eggs that obviously we have from the farm. And yeah, these guys are just having a chat and having breakfast together before school starts for Ellie and Mark. And then today our focus with Aria will be to prepare for the chicken fair or Finchwick fair that is coming up tomorrow, I think in Sim days. So we're just gonna be prepping our chickens, making sure that we've got everything sorted for them for tomorrow. Then we'll see how we get on. I think that we might invite some friends over for dinner later as well because we met some new sims in the last episode. So the other two have gone off to school now so Aria and her grandma Ivy are just going to have a little chat over breakfast and see how each other is and maybe make some plans for the day so check in and say oh Aria how are your animals and then Aria asks her grandma in return how her plants are getting on because Ivy loves gardening and I think we've actually got some flowers that could do with harvesting now so we'll have a look at that in a minute so like I mentioned before, it is obviously the Finchwick Chicken Fair tomorrow. So we're gonna do as much prep as we can. And I've done a bit of research and basically the best way to have the best chance of winning at the fair is to basically just become really good friends with our chickens and make sure that they're happy and healthy and well fed. So we have currently, as you can see, got a filthy coop. So we're gonna need to clean this. Maybe we, we probably won't do so well, to be honest, because our chickens haven't been as happy as Buttercup, our cow, for example has been in the last few episodes so we will yeah have a go at cleaning the coop and then let's also scatter some feed nearby and sort of call out all of the chickens oh no one of our chickens i think that's clara is a bit stinky so we'll have to maybe wash them individually i'm not sure and we can also collect some eggs, although they'll probably be terrible quality because the coop was messy, but <laughs> let's have a go anyway. Let's collect some eggs. And whilst I've queued up a few things for Aria, like I said, I'm just gonna get Ivy to sort of harvest some tulips. Let's just get her to harvest all and then take care of all of her plants and veg and things. And then over here, her sort of oversized crop garden definitely needs tending. So we could do with watering all maybe. So far I haven't seen any evidence of them getting any bigger or sort of merging into three or two because I think that's how they get bigger basically. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. We might be able to make some preserves from these though still. So yeah my thought was because I think they said that the success at the Finchwick Fair is based on like how well we get on. Oh no there's some of them are starving and unhappy. But yeah based on how well we get on with our chickens that we would pick one and get like a really high friendship level with it and make sure it's absolutely perfect and <laughs> none of them are doing very well they're all starving oh that she's finally here look there you go so maybe Amelia looks like we've got the best relationship with her. We'll pick her. Oh, we've got two Amelias. Oh, oh no, Annie, it's Annie, sorry, I misread that. So I'll just queue up some interactions with Annie to make sure that we're really good friends with her and that she's really happy and healthy. I think we might be good friends with her because we raised her from a chick, maybe that helped? Or maybe we just sort of hung out with her as a chick and had lots of interactions with her. So maybe that's why. It looks like everyone's being fed. I'll just make sure that everyone is actually getting fed and not just some of them. And then I have no idea how to clean them. Yeah, this one, Clara, is really, really stinky at the minute. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Maybe you can't clean them. Maybe you just have to sort of wait until it fades. I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll definitely have to pick a, a chicken that's not stinky then. Oh well. Right, I'm just gonna go and check each individual chicken's happiness levels because they were doing really badly, so I wanna make sure that they're okay. Okay, so full, clean, 
tension okay, happiness fine. Full clean fine okay, unhappy dirty, I'm guessing they're unhappy because they're dirty and then you're fine and you're fine. So let's go with Annie then who seems to be our sort of best bet in terms of winning the Finch Pick Fair. Well we could discuss preening methods first and then socialise with her, maybe ask if chickens should cross the roads, I guess. Tell a joke and then show dance moves, why not? Poor Clara, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> We're such a bad chicken owner, honestly. Whilst we focus on the chickens as well, I'm very aware that no one has given Buttercup any attention this morning. So I'm just gonna go over to her and make sure we refill the feed. Doesn't look like the shed needs cleaning. So I'm gonna get Aria to continue trying to socialise with Annie over here and just get that up to- oh no she's trying to sleep! How dare you? <laughs> I'm trying to be your friend and you're just trying to fall asleep. Oh no we're, we're kind of annoying her now. She didn't like that. Socialise. Maybe you'll like this? No. She doesn't want anything to do with us. Maybe tell a joke. <laughs> I'm just gonna get our friendship right down, aren't I? Okay, so she liked the joke. She really likes the joke. Maybe we could show off the dance move, see how that works. <laughs> oh, she liked that. She liked the dancing. Okay, so let's tell her a joke again. She seemed to like the jokes and the dance. This is going okay, it's not going too bad. So as long as we don't actually use any friendly interactions, we're fine, which seems like that doesn't make much sense, but whatever. Oh, and Buttercup needs cleaning, so I'm just gonna get Ivy to do that. Oh, and it looks like Clara is clean again, so that's great. Bless her. Oh, and our level with Annie is going up. It definitely is. Let's keep going. And it looks like, yeah, we're good friends. She's content, happy, clean, and full. So maybe we could get up extra early tomorrow and make sure that everything is perfect before anything happens. Great, well, that looks like it's pretty much full. Oh no, maybe one more animation will do it. One more joke. Oh no, maybe too much. Well, we'll wait until tomorrow. We'll, we'll worry about the rest tomorrow. Oh, and Ivy's over here taking care of Buttercup and they look like they're having fun. It also looks like Mark and Ellie are home from school so I'm gonna bring them over and maybe Mark can talk to Ivy and sort of have a chat about his day and she'll ask him how school went and things like that so yeah they can just have a little talk there. And then it might be cute if Ellie came over and started having a chat with Aria and telling her about her day and maybe interact with some of the chickens as well because we've not had anyone apart from Aria really interact with any of the animals. And kids have some really cute interactions with the chickens as well so it might be nice to see some of those. And I think it would be nice if each of the household members was like particularly close with one of the chickens as well. So maybe if Aria's best friends with Annie, then then Ellie could be best friends with a different chicken. <laughs> Hatch a plan to skip school. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look, we could hug her. Maybe let's pet her first, play with Amelia, and then hug her. I think that would be really nice. Hopefully she likes it and she's not averse to friendly interactions like Annie was. Oh, oh no, she didn't like that, did she? Oh goodness. <laughs> it looks like they're just playing, I guess. Oh, that's okay. Oh, she likes that now. Oh my goodness. This is the cutest thing ever. That is so cute. Look at them. Adorable. Well, I might try and get them to cook dinner and I was going to invite some friends over as well that we met last episode. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna bring everyone into the kitchen. I'm gonna see if the cooking with interaction works again, because it didn't last time, but it's been a while, like I say, since I recorded the last episode. So let's try cooking together with Ellie. <laughs> Whoever that random person is, why is she above Mark? How rude. Let's try cooking together as a family. So all four of us cooking, see if that works. It probably won't. And then, oh, we've got more options because Ivy's a better cook than us, basically. So we, we have more things, I guess, that we could learn how to cook because she's so high skill level well i guess we'll just have to have yorkshire pudding again i was gonna try and pick something else because i think we had enough for like four portions of beef wellington that would have been fun but i don't think that's an option with the amount of people that are cooking at once so we'll just go for yorkshire pudding again oh okay so they're all entering the kitchen now hopefully they do start so it looks like aria might be calling people over to help oh ivy is going where's ivy going no it's not works it's not works. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. Oh, how can I make them my friend? Just keep being friendly. Oh, and his manners increased. Oh, and Ari's got a parenting level skill. I didn't even think to give her a parenting level skill, but she probably has got quite a high parenting level because she's basically been a second parent to her two siblings since her, her parents died. I'll just get her to cook dinner on her own now, actually. Yeah, I was going to get her to just make a family sized portion of beef wellington so while she does that i reckon she'll probably be talking to mark and be saying well look you're such a lovely person mark and given the opportunity tons of people would want to be friends with you what about that nice guy that you met from your school the other day at the park finn what about him he'd invite his family over for dinner tonight we've we have, we've got plenty to share and doesn't he have a younger sister as well and a granddad that's Ivy's age? Yeah, why don't we invite them over? Then you can get a chance to get to know him better. He seemed really nice. And Mark's like, um, okay, I guess that would be okay. <laughs> don't you think it would just look a bit weird and forced? And I would be like, no, we're just being friendly in the community and and I met him too, so it could be just me inviting him over for, for Ellie and for Ivy's sake, just to get to know our neighbours. So I think Mark would like that idea, even though he's like tiny bit nervous <laughs> about having to interact with people and, and forcing a friendship because he, he doesn't make friends easy. Like I said, I kind of thought he might be quite shy. Whereas Arya's not necessarily outgoing, but she's definitely sort of more laid back and very chilled in terms of meeting people and getting to know people. Okay, so I've just invited this family over and here is Finn who we met the other day and this is his sister Rose who I thought could be friends with Ellie. I've just got the family to sort of come out and greet them before they go inside for dinner and then this is their granddad Ernest who is Ivy's age so I thought they would be like the perfect family to sort of hang out with our family. So yeah, now that they've sort of introduced and said hi to each other let's go in and have some dinner. Okay, so some of these guys have sat down and are having a meal together and just a bit of a chat. It looks like Ernest taking some of the beef wellington and is sitting and chatting to Aria and Rose has taken some as well. And it looks like Finn has sort of picked a spot by himself over here in the hallway. So maybe he's a bit of an introvert too, which would suit Mark quite nicely. Oh, so it looks like the kids are getting on well. And it looks like Mark is starting to have a chat with Finn as well. So it would be really good if they could actually become really good friends. I think that would be nice for Mark because he seems maybe quite similar to Finn in that they're both quite introverted maybe because yeah I've got that impression from him because he chose to sit here on his own and even Ivy and Ernest are sort of getting along and making friends as well. Oh and we just got the, the notification that Mark has learned that Finn is both a music lover and creative as well so that's really interesting to know because well Mark is quite creative. Oh that was a cute moment between Rose and, and Mark. Maybe Rose is quite interested in who Mark is and maybe she's like Ellie in that she's actually really outgoing unlike her older brother. Um, oh so they're off now but yeah it's quite late so yeah maybe they should all be going and everyone should be getting to bed. But yeah that was a really nice meal together I think. I think that was really sweet. So yeah I'm just going to get everyone to go to bed and then tomorrow is the Finchwick Fair so I'm really excited about that. 
Okay, so it's now the next day and Ellie and Mark here are just watching some kids TV together, which I think is really cute. And then over here, I've just got Ivy feeding Fidget and then I was going to get her to actually do some hoovering because we've got some dust bunnies around here and we do have a hoover and I've never actually played with the hoovering feature in game before ever. So yeah, just vacuum around, I guess. And then obviously today is the day of the Finchwick Fair. So I'm gonna get Aria to come over here and collect eggs because it's nice and early and then we are going to interact with Annie so I think we're going to feed Annie in fact we might just scatter feed nearby as well oh it looks like Mark's sort of taken an interest in gardening of flowers so that's nice maybe we can get him into doing some like a flower arranging or something like that because we do have a flower arranging table so let's get him to harvest all got some roses there that could do with harvesting some tulips and then some daisies as well well. looks like these can be harvested as well so we can harvest tomatoes and these peppers but yeah because it's the first day that the kids have been home from school this week so we'll get them to do something nice together they'll obviously spend some time together at the Finchwick fair oh goodness it looks awful doesn't it we'll obviously have to get Ivy to fix this we'll get Ellie to clean the cow shed but yeah back to Aria so she's collecting the eggs let's see how she's getting on with that We've got five eggs, two special eggs. I wonder what the special eggs are. Oh my goodness, blue eggs. Did someone give them a blue tree or something? Okay, and they're excellent quality as well. And these are normal quality, so less good there. We could enter these, because I think we can enter a hen and eggs maybe in the fair later. So we could enter one of these blue ones. I don't have a clue how they came to be blue because I don't remember feeding anyone a blue treat or anything like that. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, Aria here, we're just gonna, like I say, we're probably gonna enter Annie in the fair. So we're gonna make sure that she's like got full needs and everything. So yeah, we've got like a full relationship bar with Annie, which is really good. She's very happy, clean, she's full and content, which all looks good. I have no idea what the best version of any of those settings are. And before I do anything more over here, I think I'm going to check on Ivy. Oh, she's loving life. Look at her hoovering away. Oh, and I think I'll get Mark to take Fidget on a walk. I think he would enjoy going out for a walk with Fidget because, like I say, he's quite introverted, so he likes sort of working through his thoughts. So let's take Fidget for a jog. And then I'm gonna get Ivy over here to tend to her garden. So let's spray area for bugs, tend garden water all as well and then let's maybe like talk to a few plants give encouragement oh that's cute i like that but yes back to aria over here let's get here to socialize with annie well annie likes jokes so we'll tell her a joke and then i was gonna get her to pet her pet her enthusiastically and then some other annie with love oh they both look really cute okay so let's get her to do that <laughs> Oh, okay, no, so everyone's going to do their different chores, which is great. And it looks like Ari's about to cuddle Annie, Oh, This is cute, isn't it? Oh, I love that. <laughs> Yay! Oh, get to hug her as well. The lighting isn't great, so I might get her to do it again a bit later on. But yeah, we've definitely got like a full relationship bar with Annie now. So hopefully we'll have a good chance. I mean, she's not golden. I have no idea how to go about getting a golden treat. Let's see if it tells us. Try looking at the village shops, Finchwick Fair competitions and gifts from Critter Friends. After feeding an animal with a special treat, you'll even learn the recipe. Okay, so we just need to get one basically, feed it to an animal and then we can do it again somehow. Oh, and Ellie found a super vitality fertilizer just by cleaning out the shed, it looks like. Oh, and look, the egg that was incubated in the coop is ready to hatch. Oh, okay, so we, we can see an egg being hatched. Oh, that's so cute. Let's get Aria to hatch some eggs then, I guess. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. That's so cute, look. We've got a brand new chick, so we need to give 
that chick a name. Oh, here comes our new chick. So comment name suggestions down below what you want this new chick to be called, whether you have any preferences. She's so cute, look. And it is a hen, I think it is a girl. But yeah, let me know if you have any name suggestions for our new little chick. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh, look at them. And let's get Aria to socialise with some of the other chickens to make sure that she's got sort of friendship levels with all of them. So let's pet Amelia enthusiastically and some mother who would love as well. That would be really cute. Hopefully she likes this. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yay, she liked it. Oh, oh, that's adorable. So yeah, I asked you last episode if you were comfortable with me sort of selling some of the chickens for meat. And I think I might do that because they seem to be breeding quite quickly. And I'll only do it with roosters when they grow up and also maybe the chickens if they get too many of them because they're really, really hard to manage so many chickens at once. Look at these two, they're like, trying to work each other out like um who are you <laughs> they're so funny look at that i do really love how much detail they've put into sort of all the interactions between the different kinds of pets i have no idea when the finchwick fair starts it might be way too early we'll we'll make our way down there anyway i think we'll put annie in our inventory <laughs> which seems really odd we've got our blue eggs and then I might, well, I'll just check on the garden with Ivy and see how she's doing, whether or not we can like talk to any of our plants anymore. Oh, Ellie had fertilizer, didn't she? Oh yeah, Super Vitality fertilizer. Well, we'll use it there, yeah. I mean, I won't focus too much on these until it comes up to the appropriate Finchwick Fair, I guess. Although it might be it might be wise to think ahead. So just while Ivy finishes off gardening, I'm just gonna talk to Rosemary the bunny again, just to keep our relationship up with her before we then take everyone over to the Finchwick Fair. I haven't actually managed to do any laundry yet. We've got some pretty full laundry baskets in the house. Oh no, she didn't like that. Maybe she doesn't like certain interactions. I can't remember what we did. I think it was probably talk about fluff that she didn't like. She liked the joke. Aww. And she liked being cuddled as well, so that's good. Oh, we could give her a flower. Oh, let's give her a tulip. That would be cute. Yay! Oh, she liked it. <laughs> oh that's nice. Aria has befriended a rabbit and can now purchase a wild rabbit home. Find it in build mode under outdoor activities. But it looks like we're pretty much done so let's go. Let's go to Finchwick Fair and hopefully we will find some new sims there and be able to yeah make some new friends perhaps and interact with some of the community members. So let's go with everyone including Fidget. So let's maybe get Mark to, oh, he's, he doesn't know him. So introduce him to Rahul because he maybe he's seen him around school and he sort of recognizes him and wants to make friends with him or, or just wants to be polite. So he's introduced himself. No, he hasn't. Oh, he was too shy to do that. Let's get um, Arya to introduce herself as well and make sure she's introduced to everyone. Oh my God, he's so nervous and shy around Rahul. He just keeps trying to introduce himself to everyone but him. So that kind of makes me think that maybe he has a little bit of a crush on him. We'll see, we'll see. He could offer to help with errands. Maybe he's like, oh, so you work as a delivery guy or well, let me know if you ever need a hand because I'd love to help. Oh, goodness. <laughs> 
well this could actually be like a good sort of part-time job for Mark as a teen it's because I'm not particularly interested in doing it through Aria I'm not sure if you've got any creatures of your own but I've been looking to get my hands on some fresh ingredients okay so we could bring him some ingredients well that'd be easy because we've got some we've got tons of animals perhaps we should do this one because that's definitely something we can help with so deliver two bottles of white milk to the grocery deliverer let's just double check that he is in fact a teen yes he is a teen yeah that would be really awkward if you were flirting with someone who is older than us okay so we'll get him to do that maybe not now but at some point we'll come back with some milk and we can give it to Rahul so that's cool and then Ivy's over here talking to her two new friends. So that's really exciting that she's, yeah, making friends as well. This must be a random generated sim, but she's really like nice looking. So I'm gonna get Aria to introduce herself. Yeah, it, it would be nice for her to have a friend. So I'll get her to do that. And then there are a couple of kids here too at the park. So we could get Ellie to maybe sort of introduce herself and maybe play on the swings a little bit. This girl looks pretty tense. <laughs> Oh well that's a shame, hopefully she's a nice person, maybe she's just in a bit of a bad mood. But let's see if we can get to know any of her traits, because if she's just a mean person then we don't have to talk to her again, we'll just ignore her. Oh she's another animal enthusiast, so that's really cool. Oh and the Finchwick Fair has just started, okay. We can bring our chickens, bring our eggs, win ribbons and purchase unique items. So if we visit the local shop stalls we can purchase unique items and sell our own wares for more Simoleons than normal. So this is the fair on the sort of village green, no one else seems to be here yet. Let's submit an entry here. Okay, and yeah, we can submit Annie. So she's very happy, clean, full and content. And oh, oh, her last harvest was a normal egg, not an excellent egg. So we'll see, we might not win, but that's okay. So, oh, there she is. Oh, do us proud, Annie, good luck. Let's give her some words of encouragement, maybe. So we could socialize with her and she likes jokes, doesn't she? So we'll tell her a joke, make sure she's really happy. <laughs> Oh, she liked it. And then I'm gonna go over here and then maybe submit our entry for the other one, which is just the blue egg, which were excellent quality. So we'll see how we do for those. Submit one blue egg for that. Oh my God, look at this. So Mark is playing chess with Alina. He's such an introvert. This is so cute. <laughs> so he's playing chess with his grandma's friends, basically. And yeah, Fidget is there too. And Ellie's just on the swing. Let's get her to play with Fidget maybe. I think it might be cute if they were to play together. This is cute. <laughs> oh, bless them. And Ellie is such an active sim, like we said before, so I reckon she would love to like be silly and, and play with Fidget all the time because Fidget's also a playful dog as well, isn't he? Oh, and this is another sim made by you guys. So I've, I'll just get Aria to introduce herself so that we've got him in the sims inventory. But basically, I think he's, his character is just a bit of a snob. So he lives in quite a big house and he's got like a hound as a dog. But yeah, so just as one of the community members, he is probably yeah, not a very friendly sim. He might have a few enemies around the village, but yeah, we'll still introduce ourselves. And it looks like Ivy is cooking something on a barbecue back there. So maybe we'll go and eat some dinner with her, with everyone. Oh my God, look what Ivy has been doing whilst we've been over there. She has kept herself so busy. Well, let's all sit, sit and chat here, I guess. Yeah, let's get everyone to eat together. We've got so much food here to eat. Oh, and Ivy sort of made friends with Kim and she's having a chat with Kim. Oh, there doesn't seem like many people are around. Like there's one or two people from the community dotted around. I was kind of hoping that we would meet more people. Oh, Aria made a new friend, although it wasn't anyone that I'd placed in the world. What was her name again? Cecilia? Yeah, she seemed nice. Maybe we can hang out with her at some point. That would be nice. 
Oh, we gained a sentiment. Oh, that's exciting. It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made so many great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Oh, okay, so let's have a look. Growing closer from quality time. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, I'm so excited. I've not really used this feature or like seen it in my game much. So that's exciting. We'll try and get like the same for all of our family members because that will be really nice. Oh, everyone is sort of gathered around Annie. Oh, that's so tense. Oh, I hope she's doing okay. Okay, the only other competitor we have is this rooster over here. So he doesn't look golden, so he can't be that impressive. Oh, what is this? Finchwick Fair reward, one fruity treat, one participation egg, and a competition ribbon. Aria has unlocked the recipe for flirty treats. Information about flirty treat, animal treat has been added to our notebook. Okay, so we can make them in future. Finchwick Fair reward. One cheese, one participation chicken competition ribbon. And we've got a recipe for spicy treats as well. Oh, I guess we have two entries. So we got two different prizes and two different trees. Okay, but the result was the egg you entered wasn't a winner. Poor egg. Please accept this participation award for trying. Okay, so we didn't win that. And the chicken we entered had some bad cluck and didn't win. Oh no, poor Annie. As if that one rooster was better than Annie. She was perfect. We had a great relationship with her. Please accept this participation award for trying. Oh, well that's sad. I mean, what else could we have done really? We, we couldn't really have done much else, but we've got some trees and we've got some cheese. So we can probably make something interesting with that at least. All right then, so let's take everyone home and then we'll end the episode doing something cozy with the family. Okay, so we're all home now and I've just got Ari to play some piano and Ari's knitting. I think it was a little bear that she's got knitting. I think maybe the kids have gone off to bed, but yeah, it's been a long day. We didn't win anything at the fair, but we tried our very hardest and we've got a relationship up with Annie. So maybe next time that will help us out. I get the impression that the Fintrick fairs are actually quite Quite glitchy and quite buggy so maybe that's why they didn't work but no matter next time next time maybe we could try having like a golden chicken next time but yeah anyway hopefully you really enjoyed this episode I've had so much fun this episode I felt like we've got a lot done we've met so many new people and made so many new friends Mark developed a crush and maybe next episode we can get him to do some of those community tasks with Rahul. But as always, I really hope you liked this episode. Please let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. And remember some chick names for our new chick as well. Comment some chick names if you have any ideas. But yeah, that's it from me. If you like this video, then please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.